I'm missing a step in regards to Cartesian to polar coordinates. Okay, let's have a look. Right here, we are going to convert this Cartesian coordinate to polar. And we are going to give two answers. The first one is with positive r, and the second one is with negative r. And both answers have to have the angle between 0 and 2 pi. And to start, let's just go ahead and draw a picture for that first. So right here, let's say square root of 3 is right here. And negative 1 is right here. So this is the point that we want. Now, when we have a polar coordinate, we have two things, r and theta. r is the distance, theta is the angle. What do we mean by the angle, though? Well, we have a default position that we look at. And then we have to rotate by so much. Maybe like the points is right over there. So this is my default position. I have to rotate it by so much until I can see the point right in front of me. And the r is how much we have to go forward, which is the distance. And sometimes you will see people use negative r. In that case, that just means we just go backwards. Okay, so firstly, let's figure out what r is, which is this distance here. And to do so, we can use the formula r squared equals x squared plus y squared, which is just the Pythagorean theorem. This side is x, and this is y, and this is hypotenuse. And then we get r squared equals square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. So r squared equals 4, and then remember, take the square roots to both sides. We really have r equals plus or minus 2. We have two answers. So the first thing is that let's figure out the corresponding angle when r is positive 2. Well, when r is positive 2, here's the deal. We have to go forward. And we have a condition that angle is positive from 0 to 2 pi. We cannot rotate from here to here. No, because that would be considered negative angle. Therefore, we will have to go, again, this is the default position. Right? It's that we are looking at that default position. And then we have to rotate from here to here. And that will give us the angle theta. Well, how do we find it? You can use the formula, which is this. Tangent theta is equal to, it's like opposite over adjacent, which is y over x. And uh, y is negative 1, x is square root of 3. So tangent theta equals negative 1 over square root of 3. But the question is, like, how do we figure out the angle, even though we have this, right? Well, still, use a picture. And I will tell you, if you are doing this without a calculator, then you are going to use the special right triangle. Here we have, this is negative 1, but it's just like 1. And that's square root of 3. So you definitely have to remember the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, which is like this. If this is 1, this is square root of 3, that is going to be 2. And this will be the smaller angle, which is the 30 degrees. And if you convert that into radian, which is going to be pi over 6. And then just a quick review, 30 degrees multiply that by pi over 180, so we can get to radian, which is pi over 6. Now, this angle is pi over 6. Well, you can look at it as a negative angle, or you can also look at this as the reference angle. The sign right here doesn't matter. What it matters is you have to go from here to here, and the math is why it matters. The whole thing is 2 pi, and then this much is pi over 6 already, so And this much is pi over 6. So we just have to subtract pi over 6 so we can figure out that. Get the common denominator, multiply the top and bottom by 6. So that's 12 minus 1, which is 11. And you put down the pi and also the denominator 6. So when r is 2, the corresponding angle is 11 pi over 6. So that's one combination. Now for the second answer, we need to have negative 2 for the r, and then figure out the angle. Remember, negative r means that we go backwards. So, if you look at the picture, 
here is square root of 3, here is negative 1, so this is the point that we want. Normally, we just go from here to here, but that's no good. That's moving forward. Let's say if I want to get to there, how do I go there without going forward? Well, I will have to first turn this direction, and I have to make sure that the point is right behind me, and I just move back, right? I cannot do moonwalk, unfortunately. If I can do moonwalk, that would be so cool. But anyways, so what we are going to do is, instead of rotating to here, we just have to end up in this direction, and it forms a straight line. So we have to figure out this angle from here to here. And this is how we measure angle though, from the past the x-axis rotated to this terminal side. Now, same thing. This little angle, we know it's pi over 6. Again, I'm not putting down negative pi over 6 because I'm looking at this as the reference angle. It's just a positive number. How, why it matters is how you do the math. Okay, firstly, they form a straight line. This is pi over 6. So we just have to do pi, which is the straight line, 180 degrees, and then subtract pi over 6. Get the common denominator, which is 6. 6 minus 1, which is 5. So we get 5 pi over 6. So the angle here is 5 pi over 6. So that means you turn to 5 pi over 6 in this direction, and then you go backwards, and you can get to this point. And then we're done. So these are the two answers, and I'm going to write them down. 2 comma 11 pi over 6, and then the other one, negative 2 comma 5 pi over 6. Remember, R goes first, and then the theta. So first answer. And then second answer. Hope this helps. That's it.